Right, confession is, uh, I was just packed up, two videos filmed, and uh, that was me done for the day, but a product has just arrived, and it's made me stop. Stop me in me tracks, because I like the look of this thing, and I reckon it could be a real interesting product. Yeah, setting up to do a video can be a bit of a laborious task, and once you've uh, packed away, I'm never too keen to get all the gear back out again, but this product has literally just arrived, just been delivered, I took the wrapper off, and it is absolutely stunning. It's got a bit of mass, it's got, I know nothing about this club, by the way, uh, it's the T400, as I say, wide on the top line, wide sole unit, it's got a bit of bulk and mass, and if it's a game improvement iron, which uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is probably, I go as far as to say, even at this stage, that is the best looking game improvement iron I've seen on the market to date. And it's made me get this camera gear back out, get back out in the range, we're going to get some balls, I'll find out a little bit more tech spec. And then obviously we'll hit some balls and see if this performs as good as it looks, because it is stunning. Right, before we go too far, I'm going to start and give you a little bit of tech spec, but it is, like I said, I've not had time to research a great deal about this, so we're on Titleist website, and I'm going to throw up a bit of detail for you now. Interesting thing that I like, first of all, uh, the better performance from every detail. So what they've said is this super thin L face, and the lower edge of the face wraps around the sole, maintaining ball speed, even when impact is on that lower part of the face. We've seen something similar with the Cobra driver where they started to wrap the face around the head. I didn't like that in terms of how it looked because it was so alien in terms of what I'd seen before. But in principle, I like the concept and I certainly like this idea of help down those bottom end, those grooves down the bottom, which sometimes we all get them a little bit thin at times. And I think that's, uh, again, that's something that I like the sound of anyway. Right, okay, so these irons are available in five through to pitching wedge and in the five, six and seven iron, the uh, both heel and toe area, there's 100 grams of tungsten weight. And again, that is all gonna help in terms of launch condition. This, uh, again, width of sole is all about turf interaction. And uh, the size and bulk and mass of the head, I assume is gonna help in terms of CG placement where it needs to be in terms of launching that ball. And we're expecting plenty of forgiveness. I'm not gonna say any more than that phone out the way let's get some golf balls and get in this thing and see how it performs and uh, for me in terms of uh, excitement to hit a game improvement style club this is about as good as it gets I'm afraid now I've got to say this is probably like I said one of the most ill-prepared um, videos that I've done I really like to sort of understand what a product does but so forgive me if I get any of these bits wrong first thing I want to talk about and like I said it's my immediate reaction and thoughts is sort of at address yeah, it's got that thick top line. We're only playing seven iron. I've seen no other irons within the range. It's a, it's a thick-ish top line, but it's not offensive. And I'm not seeing any of the bulk and mass. This is in seven iron, whether you see it in that sort of four, uh, six and five iron, whether you see any of the, the sort of mass behind. But it's sort of, it's, it's itching away. I can just see a little bit of it at the back end, but nothing that's putting me off. But the interesting thing for me is the sort of shape and profile of the head. It's not overly big in terms of its height and nor in terms of its length. And whether or not that is correct in terms of uh, the actual statistics, how big it is, but it certainly doesn't look that way. And in terms of offset, the way in which, again, that the sort of hosel uh, blends into the club face, I think they've done a really good job of the way that sits. And at address, like I said, I think, it, you know what, I, I really am liking the look of this. I'm just hoping that with all my excitement, and I have not hit one single golf ball yet, that this uh, translates into some nice shots and uh, ultimately some nice results. That's a golf shot to start with, because it's right down the line. And the interesting thing for me, do you know what? Really interesting in that, I, that came definitely off the bottom. I can't quite make out if that is factual or not, but that definitely felt so it was off the bottom end. It's right down the line. It's, an, it's a 170 carry. Now, what I'm not going to be doing, I'll, again, and I'm going to have to keep apologising, loft on this is coming up on the screen now. I don't know what that loft is, and in some ways, I don't really want to know because I don't want to be swayed with my opinion on how this thing performs based on, you know, I'm expecting it to be... Oh, that's a ball. That's a golf shot. That's a totally different ball than what I hit on the first. Without doubt, that first one came out the grooves, uh, bottom grooves. Without doubt, that one came out of the centre of the club face. And I can see that one. But I don't want to be swayed by. Sometimes what happens is... I panic there, my audio. Well, you can tell this is not very organised. Uh, 
sometimes what happens is you get the loft and we're all obsessed with loft aren't we oh it's a strong loft it's seven iron and dismiss it straight away and maybe that's going to be the case with this but like i said i'd rather i'm not really bothered what it is i'm bothered in what the thing does in terms of performance and what it's intended to do in terms of performance I'm two shots in, really two shots in. I swear to God, I've never hit this thing before other than two shots you've just hit. And I can tell you now, this is a club, even at this point, before we hit any more, this is a club that is going to be a real interesting product for a lot of golfers. Bold statement, eh? You know what, seriously, I have it. Balls two and three are absolutely bang on, right at the target line long carry ball flight is good i mean it's not it's not i'm not launching this thing up into the clouds which can be the case sometimes with these kind of um low cg uh, type of clubs where it's all about launching this ball is going up and out there look i'm gonna we've got three balls literally tightly packed in a group there like i said that's definitely what happened on camera uh, that's definitely what happened down range rather uh, but what I will do, I'll carry on. I need to tone it down a bit because, you know what, this is quite excitable for me. I'm going to hit some more golf balls and uh, I'll give you a more, um, yeah, calm opinion. Slow down and let's, uh, let's, let's get into some kind of reality and uh, I'll give you my proper opinion. But so far, I've already said it, this is going to be a proper, proper club. This is, this is seriously... Oh, I mean, I mean, worst shot, just gone and end it, rushing, out of bottom grooves, worst swing, leave it there and get some proper data. Oh, do you know what? That is out the screws again. I've barely hit, this is probably, I mean, whether I'm not, I'm swinging pretty decent with this in hand, I don't know. But in terms of ball striking and where this ball is landing, I don't even have to look at there. Believe me, that uh, grouping is going to be tightly packed. I've switched the camera back on. A couple of things to mention. It's top end in terms of price. This is, but again, not majorly different than anything else that's going on right now. But it is RRP at sort of 175 quid a club. So it's expensive. But the thing that springs to mind while I've been hitting these balls in terms of gathering the data is like, this is where I hit a club like this. And forget budget because whether you can afford to buy them or not that's nothing to do with me but these type of clubs beg the question is why would any golfer average golfer make life any more difficult than it needs to be because there's products out there and this being an absolute prime case and probably the best example that i've seen of it is an absolutely stunning piece of game of, of iron forget i'm not going to say game improvement a stunning looking iron that yet might be a little bit bulkier than you'd like to see in your bag but in reality it's going to do so much more for you than the majority irons can do a lot of bold statements already here with this one but trust me this is a performer right i'm going to start this a different way around than i would normally i'd normally go straight to numbers we're going to throw, go straight to dispersion and i've collected data on just a few shots to be quite honest with you because it soon became apparent that uh, we ain't going to do much different with this no matter how long i hit it um, apart from leaking that one out to the right and a small drop off in front of the first ball that you see me hit on camera, uh, you'll see that the grouping was very, very tight indeed. And like I said, uh, certainly for an average golfer, I'd say that all day long. But numbers in front of you now. Uh, and again, club head speed was, it was okay. I mean, I certainly wasn't sort of, um, I certainly wasn't going after these. Uh, that's very much in it where I'd expect it to be. Interesting things for me was that sort of, uh, like I said, first ball 166 carry was the weakest and uh, the, the worst strike. I said that came very much off the bottom. But then that sort of 174, 173, 171, 173, again, very, very tightly grouped in terms of uh, what their, their dispersion in terms of front to back number. And again, that's often a criticism that's leveled at this type of club, which I think has disappeared in recent uh, years with the better products. That certainly wasn't the case, but again, the more impressive thing again is the spin rate. The spin number is sort of five and a half thousand revs in there, which a couple that dropped out, but to, to be maintaining that sort of level of spin with this type of club, with that type of loft, I think is a fantastic number and it's bang on the button where you'd want it to be. Um, let me just pause a second. Peak height, you can see certainly getting right up there uh, in terms of 90 on average, in terms of peak height feet that is, and launching at 60.2, so a fairly high, uh, launching ball and I think like I said it's a very simple and straightforward you got the gist from what I said throughout hitting balls it's very very positive 
Uh, it's a bit high in terms of price, but in terms of the way the product looks, I think it's a superb looking iron. End of story, whichever category you put it in. And I think performance wise, it's bang on the button and it does exactly what you'd expect it to do. So for a game improvement iron, I've not seen anything that will come, anything that will better that in terms of the looks bit is personal, but I think uh, for me, in terms of the quality of build, it looks fantastic, irrelevant of how you think it looks uh, aesthetically. It, it, it's fantastic in that respect. Fantastic in terms of all them performance attributes you'd be looking for. The one downer perhaps is like I said, that price point. Anyway, like I said, it was a uh, impromptu review. I uh, sort of scraped my way through it, but I gave you a very much a, uh, a real response as to what I thought as I was finding out. So uh, as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, take care and uh, I'll see you all soon.